In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to create instances in Exascale and how to connect to them. So first of all, just enter to your account on Exascale and this is where I am right now. So in the instances, you need to add and I'm going to create a Linux one. I will need actually a huge one because I'll do some computations later. So I just need, um, I'm just going to create a large one for now. You can choose any of these zones and I'm, I'm thinking maybe I'll just choose in Switzerland. Key pair. So this is an uh, SSH keys and I already have my Mac already set up. I don't need any of this. I will need to change this later. Just I'll, I'll show how to do that. So so basically that's it. You just choose everything. Like you can also choose other OS for your instance. And so I got uh, eight CPUs with 32 GB. It's going to be a bit more expensive than say using the tiny or medium ones. So I'm creating this instance. And when it's initiated, it just will show that this is running. I will just have to wait. Starting. And it is running right now. So if you go back to instances, we see that it has been created with an IP address. So everything looks okay. So I need to change the security. So it basically it's in your instance. And then you go to the default security and I actually have already set it up but if you do not have this ingress you create it through this new rule choose the ingress TCP CIDR basically leave this as it is and choose ports 22 for start and end and then just edit so for me, it's already created because I already had an instances before. So this ingress TCP, CIDR, both ports for start and end at 22. If you want to just connect to this instance from your laptop, it's better to have your SSH public key set up here. And for this particular instance, I'm going to be using my Mac, but uh, this one is... I do not actually need this one but I have also another Ubuntu machine where I can also use the SSH key so let's see this instance is on this IP address I can copy it open my terminal and just enter this code say yes and I am there. So basically, this is it. 